show on here on our Twitch. Um, get the early plug out of the way. Go to tenuniverse.blogspot.com for all things Tenuniverse, ebooks, podcasts, merchandise, everything you can think of. Uh, I'm also testing out the mic, so if anybody stops in here and the mic isn't working, let me know. <laughs> I guess you wouldn't hear it if it wasn't working, but yeah, let me know. Um, so let's just start out with our first episode and see how everything goes. Um, not going as, uh, I'll show you the champions we got. We got Drew McIntyre, Curse Axel's got the Florida Heavyweight title, Asuka's got the NXT title, and Tag Team titles are Sanity. Uh, so we'll just start the show and see how it goes. I'm probably going to do this quick. I wanted to test out the camera mic just to see if it does any good at all. Because these early episodes are us testing a lot of stuff to see how it goes. So. Let's see how this episode goes. And the NXT opening. Um, you can get these tumblers. Eddie tumblers. <coughs> you miss it. <coughs> oh, sorry. If you can send a uh, email to my uh, hangawinsty at gmail.com. I will, uh, Welcome to NXT. you can order one of these, Come these are made by my local for artists, not made by a big South. company or anything. Stay tuned folks, because we've got an amazing match card on tap next. That's actually a retired, uh, veteran that makes those, and he made me one, and I've sold a few of them at shows and stuff. quick look at our show but let's start stuff and see how it goes I don't think I've ever did an interview on this on the my player one like the career thing I did a uh, promo and uh, I did pretty good at it I mean not bad I think they're getting better at this, adding the promo aspect to this game. And Alistair Black is on here. Alistair Black, they need to stick the NXT title with him or bring him up to the main roster because this guy's just kind of great. He really loves that mic. Can't wait for this one. He's not going to keep us waiting, so let's find out. Well, okay. Well, I guess I'm not doing it. I thought I was doing his promo. I really don't know why in like, when it has like computers doing aspects why it has to Thing. I need to Or will I be doing Curse Axel? I had a feeling we would start this way. He's ready to lay it all out right here. This crowd obviously wants to know what's going on. Does Curtis Axel use this sort of hint at it? Mr. Perfect music? I like it. Bad blood is a boiling.
One of these days I'm gonna post online the records I have going back to playing with toys when it comes to well all my games like my wrestling records and championships going back playing with GI Joes and rent code AWA rent code toys and stuff like that. I always kept that and all my other like sports games and stuff. Which I still keep records of all that. It's just something I've always enjoyed doing. But no love between these two stars, like, that's for sure. Like Storm Shadow is NWA champion. <laughs> Which I do. Oh, if you can't see it, why these people are talking? I got a new wrestling shirt. Uh, season this is shirt. Got it at Hot Topic. It was on sale. Young Bucks. <laughs> Too sweet. But, uh, it's a pretty cool shirt. I got, I was doing some holiday shopping, so I got, uh, one full price and the other one was five dollars so I got a shirt for a friend and then I got a young buck shirt. And by the way there is a difference I think a little bit in the young buck thing and the WWE thing. I mean the Matt Hardy because Matt Hardy you know created this stuff for while working at TNT. So it's a little bit different than the young bucks using something that was basically based off of the WWE did. I, I think the WWE is wrong for going after them a little bit, but they can't say they didn't know that was going to happen eventually. They probably thought it was going to happen a lot sooner, and the WWE did do a huge amount of publicity for them by doing that. Come on guys, I gotta go work Bad blood is a boiling. Let's finish this. Wow, what a reaction from the WWE Universe. If that doesn't get you fired up, not sure what will. Now that's how you promote a bout. I thought I was choosing one of these guys earlier, but I guess I wasn't. I really hope his mic's working. If it isn't, I'm going to Enough of the preliminaries. This. Here we go. Sit tight for singles action coming up next. We have a great match coming up next. It's Curtis Axel taking on some tough competition. Let's do it. I think I had this as a title match. I thought like, I'd made all the matches involving champions title matches, but I guess I didn't on this one. I don't know why I did that. I thought I'd edited this show beforehand. Making his way to the ring from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 228 pounds, the FCW Heavyweight Champion, Curtis Axel. As has been well documented, Curtis Axel brings quite the lineage with him to the ring tonight. A third generation superstar, Curtis Axel has a pedigree that well, can't be nice. matched by many. I like the tattooing belts with Usos in the DNA show, which we were blank. For some reason, which and I on top of that, that this again. match will undoubtedly have a big oh, impact a on where these guys stand in the next WWE.com power rankings. And there's been so much upward movement from new faces over the past few weeks that dropping more than 10 spots following a loss isn't necessarily out of the question. I used to kiss you on the uh, the uh Oh yeah
Oh, man, still not officially underway. Well, official or unofficial, we're rolling here. I thought I killed somebody. Caught him with a chop. Both men enter this match with tidal waves of momentum, which set them on a collision course for this very moment. It's all or nothing, and these two men wouldn't have it any other way. And I can't help but get the feeling that this is going to be one of those matches people will be talking about for a long time to come. And I should point out that the last time we saw an Atlanta crowd this energized would have to be WrestleMania 27 back in 2011. Atlanta crowd? I wouldn't be surprised if that left an imprint on the boot's soul. Oh, it ended early. No, they're not done yet. Not even close. Just not enough damage done yet, Cole. Getting his attention with a vicious strike. Wow, look how quick. Yeah. You know, several wrestlers use this. Curtis Axel with the offense. Back in the ring now. Look, Cassius Ono is on the attack now. This is some great offense by Curtis Axel. Uh -huh. Work is being put in by Curtis Axel. Big miss for him there. And he'll yeah. likely pay for it here. He misses there. You just can't miss by that much, Cole. Incredibly aggressive assault to the back. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. Doesn't show any signs of getting up here, guys. No, he's taking one heck of a beating, Michael. Ferocious. It's like someone hit the repeat button for this move. There's the STF stretching the neck and spine. He's sending a message to the entire WWE locker room here. Oh, and he slips out. Wow, looked to me like he had it locked in pretty good. I guess not. He misses the mark. He might need glasses, Cole. His eyesight is clearly compromised. He could pin his opponent right here. It would have been a big win for him. And me, since I haven't won. The frequency many. of this move is being rolling oh. elbow from Cassius. Here's his moment, Michael. Things don't look good for Curtis Axel. Oh, no. Boom. Boom. Buenos noches. Got him good he there. The yeah, let's take another too. look. Boom. He gets those ropes, though. Referee stops the count on the ropes. Got the reversal. He looks a bit off his game here. He's going to need to find a way to fire back. The good news for him is that his opponent's offense is likely packing a little less of a punch, considering all the damage he was able to inflict earlier in this match. Axel letting his opponent know how they do it up in Minnesota. Using the Ooh. boot here. He's still not moving, guys. He might be out, Cole. There's the cover. Can he do it? That neck. Oh, 
Great one-on-one -on -one action here tonight. It doesn't get much better than this. And this has got to be it. A thunderous elbow shot. There's the pin. Ken is going to kick out. He's taking a long time to get up, guys. This could do it. Oh, no, it's a bit frustrating. See if I can get him missing. A stretch that would make Stu Hart blush. He's just about there. No, it's not over yet. Wow. Part of me thought he was going to tap gold. He may be in the best physical condition I've ever seen him in. Luke Casasoto is on the attack now. Here he goes for the win. He misses there. You just can't miss by that much, Cole. This is some great offense by Curtis Axel. Curtis Axel's awfully proud of himself right now. Better be careful. He's in control. Curtis Axel is in position. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. One more time. Keep Why not? Much rope, so. Ah. One, two, three. Oh, Whether yes. you like it or not, there's the match right there. Winning a non title match. She gave him a title shot. Whoever has the belt. I thought I was too close to the ropes, I guess I wasn't. I haven't seen a crap of so I don't know, but... Cause I've been way behind watching wrestling right right. I've been mainly just checking out pay-per-views of late. I mean, it looks pretty good. Here is your winner, Cassius Ono. Kicking off the night with an impressive victory. And you just know the rest of the card is watching in the back, wondering how in the world they're going to follow that. Believe it or not, that's just the beginning, folks. Stay tuned for more great action. Three and a half stars, but that's not bad. Don't move. We have a great match coming up next. It's going to be Ruby Riot. I can't wait. Oh, yeah, I'm so playing in Ruby Riot. She's one of the main reasons I got this game. <laughs> I was wanting to get it for a long time, but when I found out Ruby Riot was going to be on, I was like, I got to get it. They ended up buying a PlayStation 4 and everything. Be right with one key. Making her way to the ring from Lafayette, Indiana, 
Ruby Ryan. Corey, I can't think of a better way to kick off this night. I don't know. Part of me hoped Saxon would have got lost on the way to the announce table. That definitely would have made things better. But no such luck. But our opposition here tonight is incredibly dangerous right and simply before. cannot be overlooked. Actually, Agreed. She, they were called but up. I don't think she's overlooking so anybody, Cole. That's, that's not the kind of competitor like she is. Gets here live, which is cool. Sounds to me, guys, like this crowd is ready like to get this night started. They're not the only ones, Cole. Really it seems to me that these superstars want nothing more than to get their hands on one another. Byron, many people are saying that these women are the top competitors in the division. Would you agree with that assessment? Well, the women's division certainly is stacked right now, Michael. Not but yeah, these competitors definitely stand out like when tonight. thinking about the top right women before. in the industry. Yeah, no, we're not so bad. So we can't do so much crap. Because all next week it's going to be a uh, uh, Tim Pod week on Tim Pod Radio, which you can check out at hangerwednesday.podbean.com and all your mobile devices. Uh, check out for Tim Pod Radio and Tim Pod. We're going to do an episode going to be released every night, Florida time, uh, all week. Interviews with different talents and stuff, so it should be really fun. Corey, I have a hard time believing this to start this match off with some show of sportsmen. Oh, and I was right. What a cheap shot. And there's the bell. And here we go. This is the type of battle that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is looking for the quick pin. No, they're not done yet. Not even close. Nice kick out there. stammer here we're gonna see what she's made of here guys I really expected much more from her here tonight I'm pretty shocked to see her absorb so much punishment well she really can't afford to take on too much more damage and still be able to execute effectively in there big miss right there she wasn't even close Michael she can end it here Early kick out, referee right on top of the action. She's more durable than she looks, guys. Taken down with a Hurricane Rana. That scissor grab has got to hurt. Oh man, she's rolling now. She's starting to put moves together. Watch out! Having a tough time getting back up here. As you would expect, given what he's going for the cover. Oh, that was close, so close. She saw the opening and got the shoulder up. Oh. 
Comes up big with the reversal. The drop kick hits the target, and she goes down hard. That'll leave a mark. Ruby Riot's feeling it. And Ruby Riot makes her pay in the worst way. Let's go back and take another look. Great move by her right there. It could be over here. Oh, referee. Yes. Ruby Riot did it. What a huge win. Dominated. That might be my best win so far. Kind of dominated with Ruby Riot on it. Uh, I see that one person might be watching. So, welcome. Anybody that's watching. I'm testing out my mic to see if it's good on my camera. If not, I'm going to go back to the headset I got. I might play with Ruby Riot more, Amy. That's probably the easiest win I've gotten on the game so far. Very like. Here is your winner, Ruby Ryan. And the first match of the night comes to an end in thrilling fashion. Yeah, the performance put forth in that match tells me we're looking at somebody who will someday, very soon, be competing in the main event. What a way to kick off the night. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're her, just uh, getting started. That dominant performance might get her a title shot against Asuka. When we return, it's a battle where the participants will need to know where they are at all times. It's Sanity against TM61. I cannot wait. I thought I went in and uh, I don't think the mic's working. I'm gonna try. Is that working better now? Maybe I'll test. I was earlier um, seeing if the mic worked on the. Um, PlayStation camera. Yeah, working on this bit. Hard to even tell. Is that better? Worse? Good. On the way to the ring. Hope it's working. At a combined right. weight of 554 pounds, the NXT Tag Team Champions, Killian what Dane the? I don't think we're going to wait for the match to start. Sanity. Oh, and now we have a brawl on our hands. Oh, yeah. They didn't need the match to start to make a point. There's the suplex. Here we go, folks, as we kick off this tag team match. And I should point out that the last time we saw an Atlanta crowd this energized would have to be WrestleMania 27 back in 2011. And he misses the mark. 
Talk about a rough landing. I didn't miss that. It looks like a hitting. He's taking some offense. And you have to assume his partner is just itching to get in there right about now. It's no secret that quick tags lead to success in the tag team division. And I'd say the quicker he can make that tag here, the better their chances of winning will be. This thing appears to be slipping away from him in a hurry, guys. And you can bet he envisioned things going much differently for him heading into this match. That one fails to connect. Great idea by him. Too bad it was awfully executed, though. Nice job by Shane Thorne there. I suck as a typing button. He's starting to show signs of fatigue. Headed into this match, he and his partner look extremely confident. It looks to me like he's really trying to carry this team on his back, which really isn't necessary, considering he has a very capable partner he could tag in here. This is all part of the process, guys. He knew he would take on some offense here tonight. He just has to make sure he keeps it to a minimum. And he's heading back in. He's too quick for him there. Oh man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Punch the referee back of the head. The human body can only absorb so much of that. Wow, he got out of it. Yeah, I'm not so sure he had it fully locked in. Saw that one coming. Okay. His partner's practically begging to get in the ring. He better be careful what he's wishing for. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. His partner's hoping to get in this match, guys. Well, he didn't come out here to watch. This is going to frustrate Killian Dane. And now his partner's calling for the tag. Yeah, he wants to get in on the fun, too, you know. His partner wants in now. Yeah, but it looks to me like he wants to do this himself. Desperately need. Oh, and he makes the tag. Okay. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Big miss for him there. And he'll likely pay for it here. He's not getting up. You can't. Quick pen attempt here. Looking to steal one there, perhaps. Tried for it early. I kind of suck at hiking matches. I screw up all the... I Drives can't. the fist down. He's looking a little weary here. If they want to win this match, he really needs to make a tag soon. Why he's still in the match at this point is beyond me, guys. Maybe he forgot it's a tag team match. I don't know. There's got to be some explanation. Ooh. You can learn a lot about a guy in a match like this. And what happens? Oh. Could this be it? And he kicks out. Wow, what a display of heart and determination. Elbows aren't supposed to bend that way, people, but I guess that's what the cross arm bar is for. And he escapes the submission. And good thing, that could have been disastrous. Oh, he turns it around. His strikes have a little extra on them tonight. Few superstars are as dominant as this guy. Now we have Nick Miller on the attack. He misses on that one. Were his eyes even open? We're witnessing a level of punishment that can only be described as severe. Going to be tough for him to fight back from this. 
Well, the first thing he needs to do is get back to his feet, which is clearly easier said than done. It could be over here. He kicked out at two and a half. How'd he do that? I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. Tagged in. This might be the end of the road for him, Byron. Well, if he can't get back to his feet, you're absolutely right. He may be in the best physical condition I've ever seen him in. So damaging. Wow, he escapes it. He's just got no quit in him here tonight, Cole. This could do it. True testament to grip. Wow, I am impressed. Ain't no stopping him now. Nobody home for that one. No kidding. There weren't even any lights on. He could pin his opponent right here. That's it. Wait, only two. Oh, I don't think he got the shoulder up in time. I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. His opponent included. Shoulders down. This could be it. A kick out at two and a half. Wow, I thought this was over. This should do it right there. And he breaks up the pinfall. And this has got to be it. Dug down deep and gets the shoulder up. It's hard to believe, but it looks like he still has some gas left in the tank. You'd have to think hitting the finisher here could end this thing. Here he goes. An emphatic finisher. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. He may get the three count right there. And he stops the count. Can he score the pin? Oh, somehow. I can't believe it. He just won't go away. Here he goes for the win. And there's a kick out at two and a half. I am in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? I don't know, guys. I really thought we would have seen the finisher already. And there's that scissors takedown, commonly known as the Hurricane Rana. Great move. Will this be it? Good job getting to the ropes there. Yeah, that could have been bad. Oh. Will he be victorious? Kick out at the last moment. He's showing the heart of a warrior here tonight. Gets to the ropes, forcing the break. And Michael, I have to question the decision to go for a submission so close to the ropes. He's in a tough spot here, oh. Corey. And if he doesn't get up, it's going to get a lot tougher. In off the tag. Shoulders down. This could be it. There's an ear fall. He needs to change something fast, guys. The tag team scene here in WWE is undergoing a bit of a renaissance, and it's because of action like this. Oh, All right, sharpshooter time. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. He's just about there. He breaks it. I can't believe it. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I'm with you. Ooh. So unbelievable that he broke out of that. Holy crap. He doesn't appear to be in a hurry to get up here. I just don't think he has it in him anymore. He's on the defensive here. 
This tag team match can get out of hand quickly if he doesn't mount an offense soon. Sure, he's taking some punishment here, but given how much he prefers to be on the outside of the ring, he can very well change the outlook of the match with one shot. There's very little for him to be concerned about here, guys. He's had his opponent's number for nearly this entire match, and I suspect we'll see him get back on the offensive very shortly. He's got to hurry if he doesn't want to get counted out here. Time's certainly not on his side, Michael. We've seen some great tag team action over the years here in WWE, and I can attest that this is no different. And that's it. This one is over. And by countout. Can't get back in, but I don't know. He was a tagging out for some reason in this match. I am a couple of times, I think, in telling him I don't know, I have to think about it. Does that make them deserving of a title match? victory right there and you just know the rest of the card is watching in the back wondering how in the world they're going to follow that I this game. they're a very good tag team i just don't see them like going really far in WWE with their current gimmick and stuff the championship is up for grabs coming up next against an imposing adversary titles on the line and here we go Almost all my Bullet Club people are in New Japan show, New Japan World show, except for Marty Who so, I didn't have enough room to put anybody else on the Bullet Club in New Japan, so. No, I stretch my legs. Uh-oh, here we go. Where's this go? Wait a minute. We need to get some order back to this. This is the champion's advantage at play, Cole. This guy can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody. There's a big fight feel for this title defense here tonight. Well, despite the stakes, he does not appear to be even the least bit worried. Well said, and I have to say that the electricity for this title match is unlike anything we've seen in quite some time. 
a textbook maneuver there. Nothing fancy from him there. That was all raw power. Good offense from Drew McIntyre. The challenge is starting to slow down a bit here. But he certainly comes into this championship match with a ton of momentum. Yeah, he's taking on some offense here, but that's to be expected, especially considering who he's in the ring with. But it's still a little too early to get overly concerned here. If you ask me, they both seem pretty even as far as health is concerned. A nice shot by Drew McIntyre. And Byron, this takes a ton of strength to pull off, am I right? Oh, you are definitely right, Michael. But you also have to remember how much energy it drains to pull off. His shoulders are down. The champion is victorious. you're looking at the brand new champion. It's successful defenses like this that make the champion such a feared competitor. I'd like to think we just saw one of the greatest title matches in a very long time. I hope you enjoyed it, folks. I'm getting goosebumps anticipating this one. It's a Falls Count Anywhere match, and it happens here next. It'll be Asuka taking on some tough competition. Hoping the mic's working right. I've never been able to get lost in this game since you can be like up playing in uh, the last fucking game. 2K 17. And I came close on the time to beat me. It was a good time. Making her way to the ring from Osaka, Japan, the NXT Women's Champion. Asuka. What's going on here? Here we go. Yeah. Come on, we need to get order here. It's got to be hard to rebound from that one. She's looking at it early. Plus, plus anyway. And Asuka powers out. Asuka always does her Japanese ancestors proud. We know she... Hoping to end it early. You're not going to get her that easy. Yeah, this is way too early to be going for the win. This is really good at this game. Not that many, huh? Here's Nia Jax with some offense of her own. Come on, Nia. Man, what a move. Unbelievable power. Nice. 
Reigns. Asuka looking uneasy now. But she knew this match wasn't going to be easy. Pump the brakes a bit, Cole. I know exactly what you're thinking, and I can tell you with all certainty, she still has plenty of gas left in the tank. She's looked off her game almost all night here, guys, and to be honest, I'm a little surprised. Look at her here. She's just reveling the opportunity to make a mockery of her opponent. Nice job by Oscar. I like the spotlight this time. She's in control. Nia Jax seems to have lost a step now. But I'd be surprised if she doesn't find a way back in control of this thing. Yeah, but we all know that she can dish it out. Just and a quick pin attempt by Asuka. Two, three. There's the pinfall. And the victory. Near. That's three. I think it's because that barrier was there. Really quick show. I guess it was last night. Sorry if the mic quality wasn't really good and stuff, but I'm tr still trying to figure out everything. Even with my setup, background, and everything. Here is your winner, Asuka! And that's a win to start off the night. And if that matches any indication of what to expect here tonight, we are in for an amazing evening. Plenty more action still to come here tonight, folks. the end of that show like I said I'm sorry if there were some audio issues I'm still testing I, w I wanted to see tonight if the mic on the uh, PlayStation 4 camera worked at all and I'm testing out this mic to see if the settings on it work good uh, our next show is gonna be a nitro show and I hope everybody tunes in for that um, uh, future games we're gonna play we got Battlefront 1 which I mentioned before we picked up Limbo, which is a good game. Mars probably going to play that. And we also got uh, Injustice, which might going to probably play that too. So, I uh, hope everybody has a good week coming up. And puts up with all the holiday crap that comes with this time of year. <laughs> See y'all later.